Hi, I'm Valerie Getch here with a Lightroom tutorial on snapshots and virtual copies. First, what's the difference? Virtual copies allow you to have two or more different versions of a photo, and it's great for experimenting with different looks. Say you want to see a color version, a black and white version, maybe one with a certain preset applied, and another with a different crop. You can create virtual copies without having to make multiple different high-resolution copies of the same image. Snapshots also let you see different versions of your image, but it works a little differently. It works by letting you save a photo at certain points of time in its development, and you can go back to it at any time. So let me show you how virtual copies and snapshots work and how you might use them in your workflow. To create a virtual copy, right-click on an image and select from the drop-down menu, Create Virtual Copy. You can also do this from the develop module. Right now I'm doing it in the grid view of the library. And the shortcut is control apostrophe. Now you'll notice that the virtual copy has a turned up corner on, in the lower right and that Lightroom has automatically created a stack with the original image and your virtual copy. There's still only one image on your hard drive, but now there are two separate sets of instructions for it, so you can experiment all you want without eating up your hard drive space. The virtual copy has a default file name of the file name plus copy number. And here it says copy number one, and if we had a second virtual copy, it would say copy number two. If you don't see this information here, hit J on your keyboard to see your thumbnail information. And I went over in a previous tutorial how to set up the information overlay on the thumbnails so that you can view your image information. So you can check back on that later. So let's take the virtual copy over to the develop module by hitting D on your keyboard. So let's tweak the virtual copy. Let's see, why don't we go over to the black and white panel and make it black and white and we can, oh, we can mess with this a little bit. Darken the sky. What other colors do we have? We had some red, we can tweak that. And let's go up to our basics panel and let's say, let's um, move up the shadows here. Okay, that's enough. And then let's bring it back into our library. And you can see there's our original and there's our virtual copy with our changes. Now if you decide that you no longer want a particular virtual copy, easy to get rid of it. Just right click it and select remove photo. And you'll see that it says remove virtual copy and it doesn't say the usual remove image from disk because remember this is a virtual copy, not the original image. And remember when you create virtual copies, um, Lightroom automatically puts them in a stack. See, I'm going to close the collapse the stack here and expand it again. So remember to before you export any of your versions, be sure to expand your stack and select the image that you want to export. Um, otherwise, only the top image in the stack will be exported. I went over stacking in detail on an earlier video and I'll post a link if you want to refer to that for more on stacking. So that's how virtual copies work. Now let's talk about snapshots. A snapshot is a record of how an image looks at a particular point in time. Let's look at this image again. Here's our image with a few basic adjustments to contrast, highlights, and shadows, and black and white point as a starting point. So let's create a snapshot. So click the plus sign over here on the left side, and let's name our snapshot. Let's call it basic corrections. And you can also create a snapshot by clicking on Control N. So now we have our snapshot and you can see it over here on the left. And this is nice because we have one click access to get back to this version of our image at any time. So now we can experiment with some other edits. I'm going to go over to the basics panel and then just make a few adjustments. And like so, let's adjust the contrast, maybe bring it up. Okay, this is, this is fine. You kind of get the idea. I'm making it look terrible. So if you 
play around with uh, different adjustments and you decide you don't like them, you can always go back to your basic corrections just by clicking on your snapshot. And there you are, now you can start over. So now let's make some black and white adjustments. So we'll go over to the black and white panel here and convert it to black and white. And let's, um, I'm going to mess with this a little bit. What do we want to do here? Let's make this a little darker. Let's do something with the orange. Okay, this is, this isn't perfect. This will take more tweaking, but let's say this is our black and white image. And so we can set a new snapshot by doing the same thing. We'll click the plus sign again, and let's call this black and white. And you want to give your images descriptive names so that you can easily see at a glance what they are when you want to get back to them. So we'll click create, and now we have our second snapshot over here. We can also make edits to our snapshots and set a new snapshot point to them. So let's go back here into our, our adjustments. Why don't we adjust the contrast a bit? And brighten it just a tad. Okay, so now we can set this as our new black and white snapshot by going over to our snapshot panel and don't click on the actual snapshot or you'll be reset back to that snapshot, but you just want to hover over this and right click your mouse and then now you can update with current settings. And so now this will be your new black and white snapshot. Okay, now I'm going to make some more edits to our black and white. I'm going to go to split toning and make some adjustments here. And let's see, how about that? And then I'm going to make a new snapshot. So I'm going to go back to the plus sign. I'm going to call this duo tone. And so now I have a third snapshot. So now one thing you can do is you can make one snapshot your new before shot so you can compare before and after. So I'm going to make the black and white snapshot my new before so that I can compare it with the duotone. So to do that, I just hover my mouse over the black and white snapshot, right click, and then I'm going to copy snapshot settings to before. So now when I go here to look at before and after, then I can see here's my before, the black and white, and then there's the after. So it just gives you a handy way to be able to make comparisons. Snapshots are handy when you want to explore different options before deciding on your final image and to save the different history points in your development process. They can be used with a virtual copy as well as with the original image. And while you can compare two snapshots by assigning one of them to be the before preview, as I just showed you, if you have three or four or more snapshots, you can't compare them all at once side by side, like in survey mode. So to do something like that, it would make more sense to use virtual copies rather than snapshots. So you can see how useful both virtual copies and snapshots can be. There is an important difference I want to point out when you're exporting for print or email. When exporting a snapshot, the image that gets exported is whatever snapshot is applied at the time. So if you have three snapshots, only the active one will get exported. If you want to export all three, then you'll need to do them one at a time. On the other hand, if you created virtual copies of your image and then applied your edits to each of the virtual copies, then all three versions can get exported at once simply by selecting them all before export. I appreciate your comments as usual, so please feel free to leave one below, and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. In the meantime, go out and have fun with your camera, and I'll see you back here soon.